Hi Kevin, it's Saturday, and a wonderful Saturday indeed. This morning I conquered a demon which has haunted me for almost two years. I got my license. Claire doesn't know yet, I haven't told her. Surprise. Now me being 17, about to turn 18, just getting my license raises the question of why did it take me so long? And that's what this video is about. Fear. About two years ago I was involved in a minor car accident which involved my right side mirror hitting the arm of a person about to walk it into open traffic. The event left me with intense anxiety with in relation to driving. I didn't even like being in cars. I still don't really prefer being in cars. I like walking. And what was originally going to be a week or two to get my license turned into about two years. The fear of getting my license, I feel, put a toll on me. I, I can't think of anything that I've ever been so terrified of. But today, I conquered that fear. Went to the therapist at my school twice and talked about it and it was really helpful, but I just... It just took some time for me to get used to being in a car again and things, and that's okay. Sometimes it takes time. But the big lesson I want to take from this, and something I was telling a good friend of mine earlier this week, is that you have to face your fears to get what you want. I wanted my license. I wanted to be rid of my permit. I wanted the whole thing to be off my shoulders, and to do that I had to face my fear of driving. You have to fight the dragon to get the treasure, you know? There's this, like, saying that buffalo will run through a storm because the grass on the other side is better, because it's just been poured over with water, and you have to face the monster to get what you want. It really does apply to any situation. I've talked to a lot of people who are depressed and sad, and there's always two halves of the conversation. Them telling me how bad things are, and then me trying to help them, and them insisting that they prefer it that way, that they don't even want to try. And what I've realized is that they're afraid to try, and that the thing they want is being kept from them by fear. It really does apply to any situation, whether you're afraid that relaxing and not being stressed out will mean everything will go wrong, or are letting the fear of failure keep you from your dreams. We're all afraid of things, and that's what's stopping us, and you have to ask yourself, is it worth it? Is this fear really more important than the thing that I want? Because there are two situations you can sit in. You can either sit there and feel f afraid and sad that you don't have what you want, or you can sit there and be facing your fears and maybe you're still afraid, and that's okay, but at least now you have the thing that you wanted. In Charlie Day's commencement speech at Merrimack College that he gave somewhat recently, I think it was for the last graduating year, it's just this, it's a great speech, it's about 20 minutes long, I'll put a link down below, I definitely recommend you watch it, but near the end of the speech he gives the most important quote, you don't have to be fearless, just don't let fear stop you, and that I think is the point of this video. Is you're gonna be afraid in life, and that's okay, and you have to face your fears, and even if that means just letting yourself get more comfortable with it. If you have to wait, that's okay. If you have to let yourself get better, that's okay, but face your fears. Don't... Don't let your fears control your life. You control your life. Thanks for tuning in more than ever. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Message us, whether you like it or not. I'll see you on Wednesday, Kevin. Good day, YouTube. Good day. I did it!